Alright, back again. Today we got out the old Super NES, and I figured we could put in this game here. Cyborg 009. So, let's pop that in and play some of that. Now, this game here, if you're familiar with the anime series, it's based off of that. And uh, it's got a great music soundtrack to it. It's got a bit of a uh, Metroid kind of feel to it. And the most difficult part, at least uh, that I've been able to come across, is probably the jumping. It's probably one of the biggest things that the game suffers from, but I'll uh, let you take a look for yourself here, and we'll jump into it. Here's a little bit of the intro. made 1994 here. We'll start this beast up. And uh, you can go over to your option menus here and in your option menu uh, there's a lot of uh, interesting options that aren't in a lot of different games. Um, you have your sound test here. Your uh, audio out you can choose mono or stereo which is nice. Uh, you can change your key layout and a brightness uh, key where you can change the amount of brightness from your TV which is kind of awesome. So we'll just uh, get out of here. If you go up here to the, the options for normal, you get uh, three continues, easy is five, and then uh, hard is just one. We'll just leave it on normal. Exit out. And we'll start this up here. Now once you come into your main mission mode, uh, there's gonna be a little bit of a storyline that goes on uh, between the grandfather here and the baby. It's quite long. it quickly and here at the beginning it'll show you the end boss that you'll have to face at the end of each stage and then when you come here to your main menu you're allowed to choose uh, two different cyborgs uh, there's already one that's chosen for you um, and in this first stage we're gonna have uh, cyborg 009 and you can choose two other ones so let's see here Choose this guy and the cyborg. And then it'll ask you if you want to continue with this, and you just click yes. Now each cyborg has a certain power. Um, they have a special skill that they can use. And get into the game here. I'll show you how it works. Now, once you start off the game here, uh, by pressing the upper top right bumper, um, you can change out your different characters uh, to each different cyborg, and it'll tell you up at the top which one you're using at the time. And uh, if you look up at the top right hand corner, you can see SP and HP. SP is your special, and uh, you have a regular fire button here. You have a special one, which happens to be your X button, and uh, special two, which is your uh, A button. And in some of these cases, uh, some of these uh, cyborgs are better off underwater, some of them are better for jumping, they all have their own special skills, so let's switch back to our number two here. And uh, if you notice, he has a special move which allows him to kind of go quick enough through time to where other enemies uh, can't attack him. It's a good move for some, uh, some different enemies that you'll encounter. Uh, what you'll find throughout this game is that a lot of the stages seem to repeat themselves and they look really similar to each other. Um, I mentioned about the jumping. Now the jumping does get a little bit frustrating here. It's very hard to get the right jump. Uh, you fall kind of like a ton of bricks. You don't fall very lightly. And throughout the game too you'll wind up collecting these uh, different uh, items which you'll be able to use to upgrade some of the other um, cyborgs throughout the game. At the end of each stage, they'll give you an option to upgrade, so... This game also does allow you to jump on walls uh, and bounce back and forth, but the key trick to jumping on walls is that you jump once and then you press the opposite direction and then the opposite direction again. You only have to press the jump button once. Um, example is this. But to get used to it, it takes a little bit of time. Um, in some other games, you have to repeatedly press the jump button, and then you have to press the opposite or the same direction that you want to jump in. Uh, this one, you just press the opposite direction. But, uh, as far as ducking, a lot of these shots that come at you are really hard to duck. 
Um, some of them are just too low and you can't duck them, so you wind up getting hit by them. Uh, other ones uh, you can kind of avoid by jumping, but those two are sometimes uh, a little bit dangerous and hard to avoid. Now with this particular um, bot here, he's not uh, really good in water, and if he goes down into this uh, deep water, you'll notice his health is starting to go down. So we'll change to our other cyborg. And this cyborg here is pretty good underwater. As you can see, his health's not going down at all. And these are some things that you have to consider when you're playing different stages of the game, which cyborg to use. Um, it's really tricky uh, to try and find the exit to each part of the stage. Uh, the first stage is quite easy compared to the other stages, and especially the second stage can be quite long and uh, frustrating. Um, it does take quite a lot of time to get through some of these stages, that's why this is a non-timed game. Uh, you can kind of go at your own pace, but um, yeah, as you can see there, it's really hard to hit some of these guys. But you only have three continues, and I believe you only have, what is it, two lives. Two lives per continue, so you really got to be careful, and you have to play the game pretty uh, offensively as well as defensively in order to get through it. Uh, really got to be careful, but you got to really fight your way through it. Like these guys here, um, sometimes you can dodge the first one, they'll shoot uh, twice, and it's really hard to, to get past. There are a multitude of different paths that you can go in this game. Switch out to another cyborg. And sometimes when switching out through different cyborgs, you can still get hit. Um, which is kind of, you know, it, it's a little bit of a shame. Overall, graphics-wise and music-wise, uh, it's, it's a really decent game. Just a few different things that you have to get used to. Like there, you can see uh, some of these guys fire twice and it's really hard to dodge. Luckily, they don't take too much damage from you, but... And then this should be our boss. Which, uh, you can climb on. Nope. Didn't mean to use that. as quickly as possible. And there's the end of our first stage. Now the EX uh, that you see up there, those are different uh, upgrades that you can use uh, to for each different cyborg. Here's a little bit of the conversation going on. We'll kind of skip through this. These are quite long at times. Now your second, uh, the, for the second level, this is going to be the uh, cyborg that you use. This is uh, 002. And we click it once, and we have the stats increase a little bit, and we click it again, we got the stats increased again. We hit our start button here, and we'll go into the next stage. Now this second mission here, this is one that takes quite some time. I mean, there's lots of power-ups that you can get throughout the stage. Um, it's really uh, kind of labyrinth, it's a bit of a maze, and uh, you might find yourself getting a little bit frustrated going throughout it, uh, at least trying to collect all the different parts. Once again, it allows you to choose two more, so uh, you can choose two different ones, and it shows all the stats of these characters that you choose, the different cyborgs. And here we are 
return to our second stage. Now, even though we have a 15 minute time limit on uh, the videos now on YouTube, I'm not going to make you sit through 15 minutes of this. Um, this stage itself is going to take quite some time, and uh, I don't think uh, it's going to be very entertaining to watch, uh, watch me go around in circles. But uh, to do maybe a little bit more jumping here, these little guys can be quite frustrating. As you can see, the hit detection on here, it's not quite exact. Um, sometimes a little bit off. But I mean, overall, if you're into the series itself and uh, you want to give this one a shot, you can find it for a decent price. It might be something worth picking up. But uh, other than that, I just want to give you a little bit of a look at what uh, Cyborg009 looked like for the Super Famicom. And that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching.